Have you ever wondered how hunters and gatherers taught their children to forage for food? Was there a prehistoric curriculum? Of course not. Our ancestors were learning by problem solving. Today, this strategy known as problem-based learning, or PBL, is in the spotlight again. The modern history of PBL begins in the 70s when Howard S. Barrows develops a curriculum for medical students. He argues that teaching should be practice-oriented. In his course, students recognize patient problems, suggest possible solutions, and evaluate outcomes. So how do we define problem-based learning? PBL is a student-centered approach, so learners take an active role in the educational process. Learners find solutions to a real-life problem by conducting research, analyzing the problem, and generating ideas. This methodology uses real-world problem-solving to increase knowledge, communication, and analytical skills. So what is problem-based learning? Let's have a look. A group of medical students is given a case to solve. A 50-year-old man has a fever, a cough, and lethargy. The students discuss and clarify the patient's symptoms. Students then engage in a brainstorming session to explore possible causes of given symptoms. After brainstorming, each student performs their own research to answer the remaining questions before meeting with the group again or continuing discussion. Following individual research, students discuss their findings and apply them to the objective. The scribe ensures that the students have answered all the questions and they have solved the problem. And what is the instructor doing during this process? The instructor's role is to act as a guide by creating structure and direction. He determines the learning goals in a real-world problem, asks students questions, and activates their prior knowledge. Finally, he evaluates learners' solutions and gives constructive feedback. Is PBL effective? Studies on the effectiveness of PBL are mixed. On one hand, students report greater satisfaction in the learning process and develop skills such as project management and communication to name a few. On the other hand, it's quite time consuming to plan and execute because it can be difficult to associate real world problems to learning goals. So PBL is a powerful learning approach, but it's not without its challenges. If you'd like to learn more about PBL, a helpful resource is the Buck Institute for Education. It offers online professional training and lots of learning materials. Thank you for watching.